For me, it's the best stadium in Russia. It's a wonderful sporting arena. I'm not just saying that because I work here, but because that's what everyone who visits it says. Everything about the stadium is filled with the club's spirit. When you see it from afar, you can't miss the red and white colours emblazoned on its exterior. One of the two host venues in Moscow, along with the Luzhniki, the Spartak Stadium was one of the first arenas to be constructed for the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Opened in September 2014, it has a capacity of 45,000 and is the new home of Spartak Moscow. Nicknamed the People's Team, they're the most successful club in Russian football. The fact that Spartak Moscow Football Stadium was chosen as one of the host venues for the FIFA World Cup is a huge honour for the club. Couple this with the fact that this stadium is the club's first permanent home in its history, it's important that we put on a good show. Our spectators are very passionate, and I think it will be the same when it comes to supporting the Russian national team. Even when there are matches which don't feature the Russian team, both the visiting players and fans can expect a fantastic atmosphere. Everything here is set up to maximize everyone's enjoyment on match day. One of four venues for the 2017 FIFA Confederations Cup, the stadium will host a total of four games, including the third place match, before staging five games at the 2018 FIFA World Cup, including a round of 16 time. Aside from the action on the pitch, fans can expect to see and visit a number of interesting attractions around the stadium. When you arrive at the ground, you will see the gladiator statue. This is one of the key symbols of Spartak. Inside the stadium, next to the pitch, you can see the monument to the Starostin brothers. The importance of the four brothers cannot be underestimated. They are the greatest people in the history of Spartak Moscow. If you are sitting on the same side of the pitch as them, you can really enjoy this monument. Another thing for fans to see is the Spartak Museum. It's the first of its kind in Russia, based on an idea by the club's owner, Leonid Fedun. It offers visitors a completely interactive experience using modern technology. In April, the new FIFA president, Gianni Infantino, visited the museum and he seemed to really like it. He said he enjoyed seeing some of the items on display, which includes a winner's medal from the 1960 UEFA European Championship. This exact medal belonged to the former national team captain, Igor Neto, and was the one he collected after the final. With less than two years to go, preparations at the venue are well in hand, and for those involved with Spartak, kickoff can't come soon enough. I think the fact that there will be a host of players from across Russia and the world playing here means that the World Cup can only inspire the younger generation. I hope the stadium and the 2018 tournament will motivate them to follow their football dreams. If you have a chance to watch it, it's an event that should not be missed. I remember going to the 2006 World Cup in Germany and experiencing the fantastic atmosphere. Now I have the opportunity to repeat those unforgettable memories in the stadium where I work.